Hello. My hair is too curly. Also, where is my voice? I seem to have lost my voice. Where is my voice gone? Hello. Where did you go? Hello. Today I am customizing thrift store painting. Not gonna lie, I'm completely copying this video idea off of Jazza. Jazza, if you're watching this, um, I'm not sorry. I really don't think you care. Although you've probably also heard of the artist Banksy and I know that they painted over a couple of old style paintings, like oil paintings. They did the Monet with the trolleys in the water. Although Banksy's paintings are a lot more controversial than Jazz's. Go watch that video after you've seen this. So yeah, I ventured into the domain of other people's unwanted trash and searched for a oil painting that I could paint over. My friend Vagard helped me film this. Thank you, Vagard, for putting up with me. So let me show you how that went. Here with Hannah Snow in the flesh. Hannah Snow, what are you doing here today? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go find some paintings. I'm gonna paint over them. I'm in the streets. She runs the streets. <laughs> I'm in a good mood and I feel like crushing some catalyst in cells today. How? Through art. Let's go. There she goes. Daddy da. We're here on a secret mission, so keep your eyes peeled for some art. Oh, there's a piece up there. Oh. I kind of want like a quaint, like Bob Ross-esque landscape to like make creepy. I want something cute to turn creepy. Hey Vagar, do you want to watch Intolerable Cruelty with me? 75 pounds to paint Jesus Christ. Sorry, why are the eyeballs on a cube with feet? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, these are like tapestries. Five pounds! Look, a steal. Yes, a steal, a bargain. Option two. That's ugly. Hannah, you can't see Oh, I just got stabbed. Oh my god, there's literally like needles poking out of this shit. I just got stabbed by this, so I'm probably gonna die. This might be the last video I ever make. We have. Why is it 16 pounds and that one's five? Like that is making me angry to the point where I actually want to fix it. Is it mean that it's someone's like worth? Like in a pile of trash. What is what is that saying? Like someone's trash is my gold. Like one man's trash is another man's treasure. All the glitters ain't gold. Maybe I can do something with this frame as well because look at the frame that says someone's like eating it. Just gnawed at the edges. Everything in this painting is so nice and then the deer are like so bad. <laughs> okay, I have my painting in a bag and uh, I also got a little Russian doll that I showed you in there. I'll probably paint over that in a different video, but yeah, let's take my painting home and let's go paint over it. And here is the painting in question. Right, let's open this bad boy. She wrapped it in the Daily Telegraph. Oh my God, Kate Middleton, I forgot she existed. Oh. This is the painting, five British pounds. Five British pounds this cost me. The frame ain't it. Ew, there's like thrift store dirt on my chin. That is grim. I also bought this. And if this ain't the most cursed object, you've ever seen. But I don't think I'm gonna have time to paint this for this video. So let me know what I should paint on her. Also, I think that there's a doll missing because this little sister is a bit loose. Loosey goosey in there. Okay. I really don't know what to paint on this. You know what? Also, I did see a oil painting in another thrift store. But when I was walking past it, I didn't have any cash. So I'm going to go back now and get that painting so I can paint over that one too. I'm back. Okay, so here is the painting, the oil painting that I want to make creepy. I think I'm just gonna use the oil paints to like darken the corners, make a bit of a vignette effect. I wish I could paint outside, but the sound is awful. I can't wait to get high on oil paint fumes. Love that white spirit trip. 
Don't smell white spirit, kids. Don't go sniffing oil paints. Just stick to the watercolours that you are used to. Enchanté, we are ready! I can tell whoever painted this did not care for details. Because all the paint strokes are exactly the same shape for all the leaves, so they literally just went... Is that...? Cheers. You know what, this painting is already quite creepy, just the vibe of it, it's kind of eerie. The colouring of this really reminds me of a horror film called The Village by M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan? But in that film there's a lot of like hooded figures. And also I need to do a lot of colour matching for this. Starting off with the old Mars black. The paint is literally peeing down the palette. I'm scared. I'm trying to think of the proportions because that house is actually quite small. Creepy little white face. Actually, I hate the white face. I hate it. So I'm going to do the cloak a bit lighter. The Village wasn't actually a very good film, in my opinion. I need to create like folds of the cloak. I'm just creating a bit more shadow around these leaves to blend it in. There's one figure. I think I'm going to do another one nearer the house, maybe here. little cottage. You know what I'd actually love to do? Painting restoration, where you restore old, famous, valuable paintings by like the Renaissance masters and make them look new and fresh rather than 100 years old. Only thing is you need to study like masters level and I ain't got the coin for that. Maybe one day I'll do that. Just don't tell them I have a YouTube channel because they'll see this. And they're not gonna trust me with like a Leonardo da Vinci piece after this, are they? Okay, the house is looking a lot more detailed now which is good because I wanted this area to be just a little bit darker for when I when I paint the figure here, just to balance out the tones. The figure in the window is like so faint. Do you know what would be jokes actually? Returning this painting to the second hand store I bought it. I wonder if they'd noticed that it changed, but it's now completely haunted. Also, just to say, if you made it this far through the video, thank you. And sorry, because this is creepier than I thought it would um, be. So sorry if this haunts your dreams. I don't know what this is. I conjured it from my brain. I promise I'm okay. I tried to um, throw it back with some hazy, cloudy colors. So it wasn't like jet black, because if I did it jet black, like the hooded figures, it would look closer. And I wanted to give the illusion of it being a bit further away. So I wonder what Bob Ross would say to this. Sorry, Bob. These aren't happy little clouds. Still crazy that Bob Ross literally like fought in the war and he didn't paint stuff like this. Oh my gosh, this is some kind of weird vulture bird. I don't know. Who needs a reference when you have your imagination? Well, actually left to my own imagination, I paint that. So maybe I retract that statement. I named this piece low-key cryptids. It's not obviously creepy. Like you walk into a room and see this and you don't think haunted. You think nice little landscape. You look closer and you see this guy and you're concerned. That being said, let's move on to the next painting. Okay, I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get her out of her frame. I don't know what's going on here. It's sharp. Why is it sharp? Well, there's like a secret message in it underneath the painting. A few moments later. Something awful has happened and I fear we have been deceived. The so-called painting that I managed to prize out of its frame turns out to be not a painting at all. It's in fact a print. And now I realize why it was so cheap. It doesn't even say that it's a print. This changes everything. Actually, you know what? It doesn't change anything. I'm gonna go with a critic for this one. 
Okay, so for the next piece, I decided to actually paint an impressionist style painting of the Muppets. I went for Kermit and Miss Piggy having a picnic because I just envisioned them in this garden um, with the dappled sunlight on Miss Piggy's beautiful locks. And I wanted to kind of do it in that style of Renoir, I want to say. Obviously nowhere near as good as Renoir, but um, vastly different vibe to the previous painting I just did. And the acrylic went on fine. It was just annoying. I, I was annoyed earlier. I'm over it now. Had to paint a ship for the first time. I've never painted a ship. This is the ship from Muppets Treasure Island, obviously. Kermit is in his pirate attire. I want to say pirate, commandeer. He looks dapper anyway. Miss Piggy is in like a bustle dress. So I painted them sitting together. But yeah, I joked earlier about taking the thrift store painting back to the thrift store. And I ended up doing that with the first landscape piece because why not? And I decided I could probably sell this print on my Etsy store, which I will link below. I feel a bit cheeky because obviously it's someone else's art, but really I probably put more time into it than the printer did. Also, after looking at the sticker properly with my glasses on, I realized that it was labeled print and I'm an idiot. Enough about that. Let me show you what happened when I took the art back to the thrift store. I just want to drop the painting off and like walk away. But if he's outside, if the shop owner is outside, it's just not gonna work. The fake Gucci, what is it, Chanel? It's real. <laughs> Look at how dry. Look. Just looking at the huge. Hmm. The shopkeeper just came out, looked at the painting, but didn't pick it up. So I'm like, did he notice? I don't know. I think we should go. <laughs> 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 